Have you ever wondered why so many people are struggling with health issues these days? It might be because of something sneaky in your diet that you didn't even know was there. Seed oils have become a staple in many kitchens, and it's no surprise why. They're cheap, they have a high smoke point, and they're widely available. But despite their convenience, seed oils have become a controversial topic in nutrition debates, and for good reason. One of the biggest concerns surrounding seed oils is their potential to cause inflammation in the body. When we consume these oils, they can lead to an imbalance of omega-6 fatty acids, which can have devastating effects on our health. Chronic inflammation has been linked to a host of diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and even certain types of cancer. And while it's true that some omega-6s are necessary for our bodies to function properly, the amount found in seed oils is often far beyond what we need. Furthermore, seed oils are often highly processed, which can lead to the formation of harmful compounds during manufacturing. These compounds, like lipid peroxides, can be toxic to our cells and even cause DNA damage. And to make matters worse, many seed oils are often extracted using chemical solvents, which can leave behind residues in the final product. These chemicals can be harmful to our health, and yet, we're unknowingly consuming them in every bottle of vegetable oil we buy. Some proponents of seed oils argue that they're a good source of polyunsaturated fats, but what they fail to consider is that these fats are highly unstable and prone to oxidation. When we heat these oils, as we often do in cooking, they can become rancid and even toxic, and yet we're led to believe that they're a healthy choice simply because they're not saturated fats. Let's take a step back and look at the origins of seed oils. Did you know that they were first introduced as a cheap alternative to traditional cooking oils during World War II? The processing of seed oils requires massive amounts of energy and resources, and the result is an oil that's stripped of its nutrients and flavor. In contrast, healthier alternatives like olive oil and avocado oil are extracted from whole foods, using mechanical pressing or cold pressing techniques that preserve the delicate nutrients and flavonoids. So, what does the science say about seed oils? Are they really as bad as they're made out to be? One study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that consumption of seed oils was directly linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Another study found that seed oils could even contribute to an increased risk of depression and anxiety. The evidence is mounting, and it's clear that seed oils are not the harmless cooking staples we once thought they were. In fact, some experts are now arguing that seed oils are one of the primary drivers of chronic disease in the modern world. Dr. Chris Masterjohn, a renowned nutrition expert, has spoken out about the dangers of seed oils, citing their ability to disrupt our delicate omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid balance. And Dr. David Ludwig, a leading researcher in the field of nutrition, has written extensively about the role of seed oils in driving inflammation and chronic disease. The scientific consensus is clear. Seed oils are a ticking time bomb in our diets. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Seed oils might be convenient, but they're not worth the risk to our health. It's time to start making informed choices about the oils we use in our cooking and to seek out healthier alternatives that will actually nourish our bodies. Thanks for watching. And if you have any personal experiences with seed oils or have made the switch to healthier alternatives, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about healthy cooking oils, be sure to check out our next video on the topic.